Today is December 8th. We are out here in a brand new unit I have never hunted before. So uh, today's the last day for late season elk in which that is what I'm doing. So just kind of out here exploring. I haven't even seen anything all day. Just kind of exploring this unit. Couldn't stay home anymore so I had to do something. So decided to give a, a late season elk a try. So I came out here on the last day. Good thing is this unit is any elk, so I could shoot a cow or a bull, but we haven't even seen any sign of any elk here, so I don't know if we're going to see anyone or shoot anything, so we're probably just going to go walk around, explore. Found this spot on Onyx Maps and just decided to give it a go. There's Joe. He has a turkey, a deer, and an elk tag as well, so uh, we're kind of just mainly hunting for his deer. <laughs> Lots of deer sign, but we haven't seen a deer at all. So yeah, hopefully we can find a deer. All right, well, right now it's probably close to like 12.30, 12.40, considering it's December. The day's already like 60-70% done, <laughs> gets dark at 4, but we're just walking along on these game trails. We, we were actually just working the main road this morning and we didn't really see signs and we were just like, dude, why are there like no deer tracks at all? So we decided, we were actually right down here and then we came up the hill, got on top of the ridge and on top of the ridge is just like the highway for deer, you know, scouting new areas so you didn't really know what to expect so now we know the deer they travel more on top of the ridge than on the road other units we, we've hunted before usually you could just get away with just hunting the road but here apparently that's not the case so tons of deer tracks on top of the ridge very little down there so the only thing is there's a lot of deer tracks but I don't know if they're they're moving at night or very early in the morning or at last light but they're definitely not moving during midday. Hopes are pretty low, but you know, it's just good to be out here. We are in a winter wonderland. Snow is pretty deep here. Just came across our first sign. Rubs. Yeah, probably moose y'all. Do that? The texture on the rub is so weird. It's like go from this way and you look at that. That's like that's pretty cool. This moose just tore up everything. All right, well, you guys can see snow's all over my head. I think I finally spotted the first deer of this trip, and they're a long ways out there. I don't even know if they're on public land. They might be on private property. 
they're super far out there with this binocular and just standing up I'm super shaky so I don't know if that's actually a deer but I'm pretty sure that's a deer Joe is actually still up there he's looking at this little area up there and I came down to the road first you guys can see I'm on the road came through all that snow stuff deer spotted but I don't know if we could I don't think we can hunt there I'm gonna check onyx hunt really quick and uh, see if we can hunt over there but I'm gonna try to get footage first according to onyx maps that is private property that's probably why the deer are just out chilling right in the wide open right now that's just because that's private property that being said where's the elk <laughs> Now we are just headed back to the truck. It's about 2.30 probably, close to 2.30 right now. So it gets dark within two hours, I believe. Joe's just gonna go peek over here, look on the other side, glassing across to this wide open hillside over here where they have logged. But, you know, we didn't see much today, but definitely got a lot of good intel about this area that we've never hunted before so you know we didn't shoot anything didn't kill anything didn't really see anything but we found sign tons of sign tons of deer tracks i don't know if we're just missing them or if they're just nocturnal now we know they travel the ridges a lot more than they travel the roads they stick closer to the timber i believe that this is just a super highly pressured area which is why they're sticking close to the timber versus other areas that we normally hunt you know deer we usually find them almost everywhere like out in the open near roads and stuff like that but considering that this spot is pretty close to town and it's it's basically surrounded by private property you know i'm, I'm pretty sure that these deer in this area face a lot of pressure so that's why they're sticking super close to the timber uh, we found a lot of trails heavily used game trails today was just a good day in general for scouting if you if you say hunting you know, it might have not been the best day but if you look at it from a, a scouting standpoint today was a good day definitely learned a lot from just hiking around for one day in this area right here so definitely might be worth bringing a trail cam or two up here uh, in the future when i was glassing those deer like three miles away joe actually found a very a very good spot with tons of rubs and just four fresh beds it's not a bad day we'll see if we can get lucky pull a last minute uh, clutch here all right well i just turned off the camera put the binos back up i just spotted a deer it looks like a big doe she's way on top right near to the timber like i just told you guys they're sticking close to the timber but it's a doe joe has a deer tag and you can shoot a doe in this unit so it looks like the deer is coming down or not really it's just sticking up there but we're gonna we're running out of light so we gotta make this we gotta make this quick race our way over there Backpack 
because this is this is all Joe right here. So I'm just gonna film him. We have the doe. We've got her pegged where we first spotted her. She's just kind of moving around eating. So we're gonna work up like this because the wind is blowing up like this. So we gotta get the wind right. And we're gonna see if we can get close enough. She's kind of in the open, so it might be a little hard to get in the open. just too loud yeah she probably just heard us yeah it's too easy for her to hear us she probably heard us like coming in anyway 140 she, yeah. that's why she probably moved down over there no because when i saw her she was just facing away she was just looking back to me like this yeah oh man that was fun we did it right yeah we were right too we played the wind we were down there the wind was blowing this way so we got on her level we last saw her right here so when we popped out right there we were looking right there but we were looking there and the deer she wasn't there so i was like dude that means she has to be either down down here or somewhere over here sure enough i got right there i looked behind this little pine tree i was like dude that's a weird looking stump i glassed it wasn't really sure because it was standing behind a pine tree and then i put the bino down i, I told joe just to stop because because i wasn't sure and then she that's when she kind of trotted off oh man that was that was pretty fun we spotted her over here you guys see this little white thing i was way over there when i first spotted her yeah. so we looped in all these little curvy things we, we ran yeah we ran <laughs> and then we got right there we came up this straight this face super steep with the snow that was miserable we were sweating couldn't couldn't breathe finally located her made the stock up here had her at 130 yards 140 yards and she just trotted off that was fun oh well if you live for the kill that's disappointing but if you live for the hunt that's doesn't get any more exciting than that super dark but we finally made it back to the truck uh, that's pretty much sums up today pretty much just mainly scouted this new piece of uh, land over here it's pretty big pretty nice uh, definitely worth hunting in the future so we'll definitely keep tabs on this spot but put on a stock on this doe got within a hundred I was within 140 yards Joe was within 130 yards probably because he was like 10 yards in front of me she gave the slip on us the snow was just so loud you just no way avoiding it it was fun so I think that wraps it up. We're gonna go home. Yeah, got a lot of stuff to do. So I'll see you guys whenever I go do something again. <laughs> <laughs>